tonight I'm going to take a picture of a dynamic nebula region in space known as the Jellyfish Nebula using my camera and telescope. If the weather holds, I should be able to capture some serious details and structure of this amazing supernova remnant. It's going down to minus 17 degrees Celsius tonight and I just hope my equipment is up to the task of tracking and capturing this deep sky object here in the backyard. It's a new year and it's a clear Wednesday night. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the Astro Backyard. Now let's take some pictures of space. Like the Veil Nebula and the Crab Nebula, the Jellyfish Nebula is a supernova remnant. This means that it's the result of an exploded star. It lies about 5,000 light years away in the constellation Gemini, and I intend to capture it tonight in all its glory. Like most nebula, the jellyfish emits light in the hydrogen end of the spectrum primarily, and that's mainly what I'll capture tonight. I'm using a dual bandpass filter, the Optolong L Extreme, that isolates the HA and O3 gases of deep sky objects in the night sky. I don't expect to see much of that blue-green end of the spectrum in the O3 bandpass to shine through, but it's a fair trade-off to create a dynamic image here in a light-polluted sky. The Jellyfish Nebula is in prime position for imaging tonight. It will rise above the roof of my house just as night falls, and I should be able to capture a healthy amount of exposure time to create a really great image. We've got a waning crescent moon coming up at about 4 a.m. tonight, only 37% illumination. So it won't interfere with my imaging plans whatsoever. This has been one of the coldest, cloudiest Januaries that I can remember. Earlier last week, we got dumped with over 50 centimeters of snow and it's all still sitting here because of the constant frigid temperatures. There's nowhere to put it. Backyard astrophotography in conditions like this really separates the diehards from the dabblers. If you're full-blown obsessed like I am, you don't even think twice about setting up in the snow like this on a clear night. The setup I'm using tonight was selected for convenience and portability. It's just too darn cold to haul out a larger rig. The Red Cat 71 is just such a great little telescope to use on larger nebulae projects like this one. I've attached a ZWO ASI 2400 MC Pro, a one-shot color, full-frame, dedicated astronomy camera to capture a large area of space at the native focal length of 350 millimeters with this scope. The Optolong L Extreme filter sitting in front will create a punchy dynamic image with tight stars. And I've used this filter on nebula projects like this on supernova remnants, and it does such a great job. Such a pleasure to process the data captured using a filter like this. My camera and telescope are being auto-guided with a small guide scope and guide camera that communicate with my telescope mount for better tracking accuracy. I have a ZWO ASI Air Plus Wi-Fi controller that sends the image exposures to my phone for me to review them. This is where I do things like framing and focusing my target. This is nice because once I have everything going, I can go into the house and watch the images come through on my phone without actually having to be here outside. The Black Dog Observatory is operational tonight as well, a rare January dome opening at the BDO. Maybe I could rent out time on the Black Dog Observatory. 16 crystal clear nights a year under Bortle 7 skies. Anyone? My monochrome camera in the observatory is collecting additional H alpha frames that'll apply to my final image to give it some pop. My camera and telescope have been collecting light on the Jellyfish Nebula for over an hour now and the preview images coming through on my phone look really awesome. 
The monkey head nebula is really close by to the jellyfish nebula. It's just off to the right and it's just out of frame. I thought about trying to squeeze that in as well, but then I'd end up putting both objects near the edges of the frame. So I've decided to center the jellyfish and I'll shoot the monkey head another time. My fingers are crossed that the weather holds for a little longer tonight. If I can get two or three hours, I'll be thrilled on this project. The weather is already a lot better than the forecast originally called for. It's just crystal clear and super cold out there. This is definitely my best shot at capturing the jellyfish nebula this winter. So I'm hoping it works out. The clouds parted for a grand total of two and a half hours. That's pretty good for January. If you've had more than three hours of clear sky time this week, consider yourself lucky. No one said this was gonna be easy, but that's half the fun, right? astrophotography isn't for the faint of heart. If you've spent a night in your backyard this winter, I salute you. Here's to another great year of the most ridiculous hobby on earth. 